Hi, my name is Ed White, though most of you probably know me as Spy High. And over the last month, I've witnessed something incredible. This story begins on April 16th, 2015, when most of us logged on to the Hawaii subreddit to find a post that said, get your downloads ready. It turned out one of our fellow Redditors was a teacher and that he had had his kids code a bunch of websites for a science fair, except that they didn't get any recognition. None of the judges knew what they had just witnessed. Frustrated, he turned to Reddit to vent. And Reddit, we turned around and decided to give him support. We wanted to show that the kids mattered. We wanted to show that we cared. And we wanted to show that someone out there appreciated them and thought that their work was important. So, after about a month, this is how it turned out. My name is Emma. I'm Jared and Utah. Kianta, Ming, Daniel, JJ. My name is Christina Hunt. My name is Patrick. I heard about this through uh, my friend, my good friend Howard Cam. Um, he's a teacher here, and he has been supporting the Computer Science Club uh, for some time now. When I started two years ago, I noticed that a lot of students weren't learning code here. In fact, they were doing some very rudimentary things when it came to computer science. What I really wanted to do was take computer science into the next level, teach them programming skills, teach them actual real-world skills, that they could use outside of the classroom and in their future. Howard is a participant in Reddit Hawaii, which is a subreddit that I help uh, moderate. And he made a post about some frustrations that he was having, um, getting recognition for the computer programming that his students were doing. And that's where I came on board. These are a few friends of mine that have donated their time and their resources to get prizes. Andrew Carvella. The program that Howard is developing to work with his kids in the fourth and fifth grade with the State of Hawaii Department of Education is of utmost importance. Being able to teach kids coding, especially at a young age where they're not nervous about failing, where they're not nervous about running into issues with their program code, it's just so very important that we begin to teach these skills as early as possible. And the great thing is, is the kids are getting it. They're really digging in and enjoying what they're doing. And the programs that they're creating are amazing. Um, I learned HTML and CSS. I learned Python coding and JavaScript. Well, a bunch of people were talking about it. And what they were describing seemed fun and educational. So I wanted to try it out. and. I found out I really liked it. Any plans to continue coding after the class? Yes. Yes. I was really impressed by how the students were putting effort into the project. Uh, I feel as though a lot of kids nowadays, they're always saying that they're too busy or they want to be with their friends. So the fact that these students were putting time uh, from their own schedule just to complete it, uh, I was very impressed by that. The people behind me really wanted to reward all of you with some prizes. And I really hope that some of you incoming fifth and incoming fourth graders want to take part in the challenge next year. $100 team card. With the award you trophy and a $100 Amazon gift card. Can I get a drum roll? One of the only 
elementary schools that teach code on a very raw level rather than cut and paste animatronics or cut and paste uh, animated characters. When we learn real foundational code, we really accelerate the child's learning. And this is what I'm doing here today. And this is what I'd like to do for the future.